Hello there everybody, it is me Fizer Bunny, and welcome back to part 2 of my overview slash first impression video on the Sims 4 Parenthood Game Pack. Alright, so in this video we're going to be checking out all the new build by mode items that came with this game pack, as well as some interactions if there aren't enough like build by mode stuff, but I'm pretty sure since this is a game pack there should be a bunch of stuff, right? So, um, yes, we're gonna go ahead and check this out really, really quickly. I'm gonna go and mother load um, just so that we have enough money to buy all the stuff uh, yeah and I just copy paste it like this so I don't have to keep typing and stuff okay awesome and I'm gonna testing cheats as well uh, so that we don't have to keep worrying about our families um, yeah, so we don't have to keep worrying about our families like needs and stuff. So really quickly, I am going to disable household needs decay and also fill their needs as well. Awesome. Now it's time to check up on all of the items. Also, this video was supposed to come up a lot sooner than it actually did because I fell asleep after uploading the first part of this overview. So silly me. Um, hopefully you guys understand Parenthood actually got released in my country, which is the Philippines. Um, it got released at like 12 midnight. <laughs> like, and I was up waiting for it. And I saw the tweet. I saw the EA tweet saying that the pack was out. And I was just like, I was like getting up on Origin like as soon as I possibly can. And, you know, little did I know it, when I finished everything and when I uploaded everything, it was already like 3 a.m. So I like, you know, I went to my bed and of course I fell asleep. And then when I woke up, I realized that I had to do a second part. So this is it. Okay, awesome. So I always forget about checking the new builds by mode stuff. So we're going to do that. It looks like we have quite a few new wallpapers. Based on what I'm seeing right now, I don't think there's actually any new floors, but look at all this wallpaper. I like what I see though. It looks like we're going to be getting quite a few versatile wallpaper options and I really, really dig that. Um, look at this. Awesome. I really like that. I really, really like that. It's very, it's very basic, you know. Um, stucco or paint with some wood wainscoting but it looks really cool wainscoting i'm not sure this is so cute this is definitely perfect for a kid's bedroom or maybe even a teen you know i feel like the existing wallpaper options that we have are great for the children but they're a little bit too wild um you guys get what i mean like i like these because they're a little bit more subtle you know and i feel like they're also quite realistic oh my gosh holy moly this is so beautiful wow this reminds me of that one game i forget what it's inside oh my goodness how beautiful um i was actually honestly contemplating on doing playthroughs of those and you guys can see that they do change actually the patterns and stuff um wow i love this I don't actually see myself using this that much um, just because it just, it's just like, I don't know, where am I going to be able to use this? You know, is it for like a bedroom? Is it for like an outdoor thing? I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see here. So, but that I love. I really like it. I like how it almost feels 3D and it totally looks like Slender Man is going to come out from here. Like literally, this is the perfect wallpaper to scare off the kids. Anyway, the other wallpaper is for the bathroom and I'm so happy that we have this. Honestly, I wish that we had these tiles right here as flooring because that would be perfect for people like me who are literally obsessed with matching every furniture that I have. Like, I, I, I can't control myself. I can't. Okay, so that's really nice. Love how it also has the same base as this one. Um, so you can kind of interchange them and just do things, you know, you know, just do things the way you want to. And I feel like this is actually perfect for a kitchen. Like, I bet you guys that this is like a counter level wainscoting, wainscoting, I'm not sure, but yeah. Awesome. And then this is like the tile backs, ba uh, what do you call it? Ba tile 
um oh, i forget what it's called it's like back something <laughs> oh and we get some fuller oh no it's not i was gonna say oh it's fuller versions of that one but it's not but it's it's just a really nice um three type of material kind of wallpaper because you know we have wood on the bottom level we have um some tiles on the middle level and on the topmost level we have like some normal paint and stuff which is really nice um i honestly did not expect to get this wall this kind of wallpaper um and i mentioned it before in my previous video that i this is the first time i'm seeing all of this stuff you guys so i you know i haven't seen any of the live stream i haven't seen anything so this is pretty amazing this door is adorable <laughs> it is adorable <laughs> Oh my gosh, kill me now. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I had to, but it's really cute. And we have it in a in a bunch of, in a bunch, in three different colors. I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest. I wish we can change the base color of the door. I really wish we can um, because uh, what if I had like, you know, a hallway where a black door would be nice? Or what if I had like a hallway where you know, a wooden door would be nice, like a normal color wooden door. So, you know, I think having this door, you would need to have a hallway that only has white doors. And I'm just like, <sighs> limited, limited. Anyway, I'm going to stop complaining because this window is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I love this window. This window totally, totally reminds me of something from The Sims 2. And if you guys have played The Sims 2, you probably would know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like the mission style windows. Um, and the mission style actually is very prevalent in The Sims 2. Like, there were entire furniture sets that were mission style. And this window completely and totally reminds me of that set, which I really, really do like. Let's have these in like, you know, the same kind of color options as this one, just so you guys can 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 kind of compare. I am trying to make this as thorough as possible and like show you guys each item and not only that, I want to show you guys um, each item and also commentate on it as well and, you know, share with you guys like what I think of the item. So let's go ahead into the buy mode and oh my gosh, literally literally 10 million things i'm so excited oh my gosh you guys oh, holy crap one of you guys commented in my previous video that i get so much happiness from clothing for my sims well i get a little bit more happiness from actually build by mode stuff oh my goodness these beds are perfect i wish that they had these in like you know, double beds. Oh my gosh! Please come in double beds, please. If you guys already know, if you guys already know the answer, please. I don't know. You're probably laughing at me, but I I'm begging the sim gods that these beds would come in like double beds because they're perfect. <gasps> this is also amazing. Okay, when I turned 16, like when was that? Uh, eight years ago. <laughs> My parents gave me the opportunity to design my bedroom because I was dreaming to be a, an architect at the time and they were like, okay, cool, you know, you, you know how to design, you can design your own bedroom. And this right here in the middle, this is one of the beds that I wanted to have for my bedroom. Granted, the bed that I wanted was like a double bed. I mean, this is just a single bed, but it has this frame on it, and oh my gosh, you guys, this, like, duvet, or this, like, um, comforter, I guess, um, this, especially this black and white one, I have the exact same thing. My dad got it for me from New York, and I felt so fabulous. Um, it doesn't have this red part, it was, it's all, like, this black and white, and it was, like, super fabulous. Oh my gosh, I felt super awesome. I was really, really happy with how that bedroom came out. I might actually vlog it with you guys in the future. Who knows? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am literally dying. These are so cute. Um, I have the gut feeling that these do not come as a set with like another sofa. But these are like literally adorbs. 
Oh my god, these are so cute actually. I love it. I even love it in like the different color options. It's very fresh and youthful and awesome. Uh, I'm just so happy. <laughs> Literally crying right now. Just kidding, but okay. I love these chairs. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be chairs for the kids. So that's pretty awesome. Awesome, awesome. I like how these would be perfect in like an elementary school. Zerbu, update your mod. Is the Zerbu mod updated? Like this would be perfect. Okay, and this one, I wonder what's so special about this chair. Um, it feels a little bit different, um, but it's also very beautiful as well. I don't, I feel like it's because we have the curved back, um, backrest i guess i feel like that's how, why it kind of feels a little bit different from what we're used to but oh my gosh i love the proportions i love everything i feel like i'm gonna love everything in this game pack to be honest and i deliberately told myself to be very critical of everything and very like you know and not really get too emotional but holy smokes are all of these items amazing <laughs> these are so amazing ah oh, how amazing is this the proportions are great. I love the thickness of the wooden frames and I also love the the cushions as well. You know, and everything, I feel like it's very fresh. And I feel like that's not something that I usually associate with The Sims 4. Usually we get either extremely traditional or extremely modern, but these are very beautiful in a contemporary way. And I'm really loving that. Okay, so it looks like the chairs do match to some extent. So I'm really happy, you know, that, you know, the chairs do, um kind of have the same cushion options and stuff like that so i'm really really happy with that all right okay so for the sofas okay so this is the first sofa of two it looks like and this is so beautiful oh my gosh you guys uh i could not say this enough but why doesn't ea give us the option to choose the cushions on our sofa i've never gone to a person's house and see a sofa that does not have any pillows on it like that's a totally normal thing right like to have just random pillow pillows and cushions on your sofa but we couldn't do that in the sims what i which i felt like it was really really weird so thank goodness we have new sofas with cushions i think there's maybe one or two sofas in the game that do have cushions so i'm glad that we get these ones and they are beautiful i love i love the i love this this is giving me like a martha's vineyard kind of like barefoot contessa kind of vibe love it okay and this is a love seat actually which is pretty awesome it totally totally reminds me of something that would come in like a university pack like how beautiful is this oh my gosh once again, I love the color options, actually, surprisingly. Like, these are, oh my gosh, you guys, just, oh my goodness, like, amazing. Okay, I'm being very overwhelmed right now, in, in a good way, though, um, because I'm loving everything so far, and just, I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, counter time. Okay, so we have a new set of counters. I'm so excited for this. I'm actually going to place them over here. Just so it'll be a little bit easier for us to compare like it as a set. Um, okay, so it's a really nice counter. It's very normal. I really, really like it though. I feel like this is going to be like my new favorite counter. I'm extremely happy that it comes in like a bunch of basic colors. Because we don't usually get those. <laughs> um, usually we get like, you know, I'm sometimes it's a little bit surprising with the stuff that EA comes up with. Like... Sometimes some things would not have any plain black and white options, but these ones have and I'm happy that they have black and white options because those are like the most um, kind of like easiest combination ever. So really happy with that. And then once again, they do come with matching counters as well. Uh, and I'm really, really happy, you guys. Like, I cannot wait to start building. Like, one of my friends, um, Devin Bumpkin, you guys might know him, a little simmer called Devin Bumpkin. He was tweeting, like, when does Parenthood come out? Because I'm so excited to build. And I, I know what he's talking about. I really didn't know what to expect with the items. Uh, because like I said, I've never watched the live streams and stuff. But holy smokes. Like, I couldn't say it enough how obsessed I am with everything. 
and I'm also obsessed with this table. I feel like this is my new favorite table. It's so awesome. Like whoever chose this art style and whoever made these items are just, I'm literally giving them like an applause right now. Literally clapping for life. Awesome. Okay, and that's barely any of the items. So um, we have a bunch more, um, which I am just gonna run through really quickly because I don't want this to take forever. We have, I feel like this is a changing table. How cute. Oh, it's adorable. And it comes in a bunch of different color options as well. Um, a very famous YouTuber, um, Cinnamon Toast, can actually had a child recently, and I've been watching their vlogs quite a bit. I've been watching Ken and Mary's vlogs, and literally, I tear up in a couple of episodes because I'm just, I'm just so proud. I can't wait until PewDiePie like visits him and actually vlogs and stuff. Um, I don't know. I just such a cute baby L. I believe L is the name, right? So freaking cute, and I love this. This is like um almost like a mid-century looking coffee table. Holy crap, I am so happy. If you guys actually watch me for my speed builds, you would know how often I actually combine the coffee tables to look like they are a little bit bigger. And I'm so happy that we get these ones because they're exactly what I wanted. So, so happy. Okay, and those aren't the only ones. We have another option over here. And these are a little bit more rustic looking and a little bit more traditional compared to the previous ones that I've shown you guys, which are a little bit more contemporary. So, you know, once again, I love the variety. Like, oh, I'm so happy. And we get these new things, which is a kid's desk. Really cute. Perfect, perfect for, um, for a school. <laughs> it is perfect for, like, a classroom. It's, like, it's so awesome. And this is, like, a little bit more of a princessy desk. If I do say so myself. Well, it's a teen writing desk, whatever. But I mean, it looks like something a teen would like. If she likes to pretend to be a princess, then she can. Awesome. This would be perfect as like Juliet's desk in my Romeo and Juliet theme built a couple of weeks ago. <gasps> okay, there's like 10 million more stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run through things really quickly now. So this is a new sink. Love it. I like it, um, I feel like this is a little bit more of a public sink, so it's pretty cool, I really like it. And then we have another sink over here, which looks a little bit more traditional and a little bit more cozy, so I like that. <gasps> it's a new shower, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. My favorite bathroom items in the game are definitely these um, shower bathtub combo and oh my gosh i'm just so happy i am so happy this is officially gonna be like the freezer bunny like bedspread or something because i talked about it so much earlier in this video but it totally reminds me of that bedspread my, my dad got me from new york i'm just like I'm, i was obsessing over it anyway private journal Ooh, interesting i might actually have to check out the interactions for that um Maybe the teens can like write stuff in it. Okay, awesome. And then this is a bulletin board, which I'm so happy that we get some new ones. Um, in my Vampires mini series, if you guys follow that, you would know that I actually collect um, postcards from different places and stuff. So I'm really happy that we get a new bulletin board. Yay. And it looks really cute too. We have, oh. Oh, I th I thought this was, I thought this was like a legit basketball like hoop, but it's not. It's only like a wall decoration. I was I was I was like, what? We have basketball? Okay. Anyway, a uh, guitar. Ooh, what is this? I don't know what this is, but it looks really cool. And we have a lot of decals, actually. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of decals. I feel like they look a little bit weird. These, like, specific decals, I feel like they, they're they the ones that kind of look weird to me. Because, you know, I probably just me and probably just the country that I come from. But I walk into somebody's room and I don't, like, see decals. Even for the kids and even, I don't know, maybe in community lots, there's going to be decals. But I don't really see them that often. So that's why I also don't really use them a lot. But these posters I see a lot of, um, so I'm really happy that we get them, and I do hope that they come in different variations. Yes, they do. They, they come in like for kids, and like for 
um, for Sims who are fans of the like Void Critters one, we also have those. Um, we have a boy band. Oh, literally me. I mean, not a member of a boy band, but a fan of boy bands. And this one, somebody who likes, like, I don't know, extraterrestrials. I love this. This is perfect. Um, recently, in my recent builds, you guys would know that I love to customize each individual room to kind of fit in a, a Sim's personality. So I'm really happy that we get those. Um, also, another set of tree decals. And these are, I don't know what these are. Oh, these are like drawings. Um... Yeah, these are like drawings for, obviously for the wall, but these are like kids' drawings. Really cool. I really like these. I didn't expect to get actually these items, but I'm really happy that those are there. I feel like I've said I'm really happy, but I am. I, I really am. Uh, okay, that's really awesome. We get a new mirror over here that comes with its own spotlight so yay for that and then this one i'm assuming um goes on the wall yes it does um probably like for a bathroom this would be awesome i'll just chuck that there and then another mirror awesome uh i do like the new mirrors though i'm definitely gonna be able to use them i wonder though why this one has like a handle I feel like that's, I don't know, I should probably read it. This elegant rectangular mirror has a tiny shelf that gives it great, oh yeah, it has a tiny shelf. Maybe you can put like toothbrushes and stuff. Awesome. And then, oh my goodness, this is so cute. Honestly, you guys, I keep complaining about the curtains because just the curtains that we have, some of them are fine. Most of them are crap. Sorry for saying it, but just, yeah. I, 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 we need more curtains and this is a good start. Hopefully that's a good sign. Hopefully we get to the point where um, maybe in The Sims 5 we can actually customize the different curtains and stuff. I don't think that that would be impossible to do in The Sims 5, you know, maybe each window you can kind of just, you know, choose a different curtain and like, I don't know. You guys got what I mean. All right, so I'm gonna go to a empty wall here and hang these really beautiful transparent curtains. I love these because it reminds me so much of my mom. Um, currently, I live away from my mom because I am in university, but my mom, literally all of our curtains are these transparent ones. So yes, I like it. Definitely matches with the parenthood concept of this pack awesomeness. And then we still have a bunch more clutter items. So literally, I am going to like sprint through this. I love this um, paper crafty item from the kids and then we have like i don't know maybe some tools and that is elmer's glue for sure <laughs> and then okay just a bunch of really nice clutter items oh my gosh i love this one that is so awesome this is gonna give me so much personality when i'm designing like my kids bedrooms i did struggle making kids bedrooms before and i definitely think that these items will make it a lot easier I don't know what these blocks are called, but I have those when I was younger. Mine were in blue, red, and yellow, and they came in like a set. And these are like foam block things. Honestly, I feel like playing these as a kid is what really drove me to be passionate about architecture and about building and about designing in general. So thanks mom and dad for giving me those awesome block things, whatever those are called. So we have these things, which I'm pretty sure are for teenagers because when I was a teenager, I had literally the exact same items except for this makeup kit because I never really, I don't wear makeup <laughs> except for some chapstick, I guess. Um, but yeah, awesome. I love this messy thing. Do they come in different colors? Yes, they do. Uh, love it. And then, oh my gosh, there's like three more layers <laughs> of stuff. So, love this rug. And we get another rug. Oh my gosh, it is huge. Um, it looks like EA still hasn't gotten over their gigantic rug syndrome. <sighs> it's This rug is a little bit enormous, but it's beautiful. I wonder what... Color. Okay, it comes in a bunch of really nice color combos, so I forgive it for being so ginormous. I mean, it, this might be a versatile size, like we never know, but 
I definitely know for a fact that a lot of people have issues with having such enormous rugs because they're so difficult to incorporate into smaller builds. And like literally a lot of the builds in The Sims 4, like maybe a majority of the builds are smaller builds because most people like start their gameplay from like the ground up, right? So, you know. Anyway, I think that's really cool. I think that that's a perfect size for a living room though, so that's pretty cool. Hashtag no shade. Um, we have this fireplace, and I bet you guys that if I actually raised this, um, this mirror here, um, I think I'm gonna be able to put it on top of the fireplace, and it, it'll, it'll look amazing. Okay, I, I, blah, I screwed up that sheet. Okay, there we go. It's the move object sheet in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. All right, and if I actually control press nine, I can actually raise up some of the items like so. Look at that, oh, I knew it. These are so awesome. Like that, so nice. I am so ready to build, literally, I'm so ready. Okay, so we have like 10 million more items to go. I keep saying that I'm gonna make it faster, but oh, fairy lights you guys i'm i'm literally like i'm literally like dying for the longest time i thought we had fairy lights in the game but those weren't fairy lights actually those were like lights that came for the kids it came with kids room stuff and now we have legit fairy lights so yay and then we have more wall decorative stuff so hooray for that more personality oh my gosh skateboards holy moly love it and then these are more fairy lights i should honestly get some because i really want to vlog you know i really want to make videos of me like literally talking so i don't know maybe i should get some uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm genuinely thinking about it. <laughs> okay, so laundry basket, awesome. Adds a lot of personality. I wonder if we actually have laundry now. Do we or do we not? I feel like, I feel like we're gonna have laundry really soon for sure. Like I feel like I've read somewhere on Twitter um, that we might have laundry. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. We have a medicine cabinet. We have another quote unquote bathroom organizer cabinet. It's just a damn medicine cabinet. It has a fancy name though. All right. And I wonder what colors they come, they come with. Okay, they come in like a bunch of nice standard colors. Awesome. And I'm pretty sure this one comes in the same swatches. And then this one. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that we get these. These are so awesome. I feel like having a bread box would be a total a totally normal thing to have in a kitchen like we have a bread box we have like the plastic one and we have a dish rack of course i love to clutter up my kitchen so i'm really happy that we get these and we have this really nice modern kind of fruit display i don't know what else to call it but that's really nice i like how it's like more rectangular so you can kind of tell that it's specifically designed for a rectangular table we have a decorative dish which I'm pretty sure comes in like a bunch of different swatches. Um, really happy with that. What is this? What is this? I'm assuming this is like a kid's, like a kid's toy. You know, I'm guessing these are like one of those things. I'm not sure what, what are the feed things, the things that you feed. Um, like, I don't know. But yeah, you guys got what I mean. All right, and then this is a block table. I'm not sure what life state or life age would actually um, make use of this, but let's check it out. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what type of chairs those are supposed to come with, but whatever, they work. Um, let's see here, I'm, I'm gonna have to filter this again. There we go. We have only like a bunch more stuff to look at, so thank goodness for that. Because uh, I am getting tired. I feel like I've been talking for like 10 million years. Okay, so ooh, dishwasher. Yay. I didn't think we would get some, but okay, that's always good. And then we have new kitchen stuff. <sighs> Holy crap. Uh, the builder in me, you guys, is literally jumping for joy. Oh, they're so beautiful. 
I only wish they matched. Um, I wonder if they match. Okay, they do match. Awesome. Another slow clap for EA. Uh, and then what is this? Ooh. Okay. Can I not? I, okay, there we go. A starry nightlight. Ooh, what is this? This is so interesting. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's a nightlight for the kids. Oh, it's perfect. And I actually just want to see this in a bunch of different colors. Awesome. I could not sleep by myself as a kid. And even now, I cannot sleep with the lights off. So yeah, I'm going to stop because I'm going to start creeping myself out. I'm literally the most... I'm literally like the worst scaredy cat ever. Like it gets scared of literally everything. And we have a bunch of, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. This stuff pack, absolutely, no, this game pack is absolutely killing me. Like it's killing it. How amazing are all of these items? Honestly, I haven't seen a single item that I did not like. I'm, I'm like 100% honest with you guys. I'm literally looking at the items and probably the only one that I don't like is this door just because it doesn't come in other variations, but I don't really care because everything else is amazingly awesome. Okay, let's make it, let's make it back into daytime and let there be light. Okay, so we have this new drawing table for the kids. I feel like we've never gotten these other than the base games. So I'm really happy that we get those actually. And a bunch of boxes. Um, and oh my gosh, school projects, yes! I believe these are ones that you can actually work with um, your parents. And once again, I love how this game pack is expanding on the dynamic between the parents and between the kids and all that stuff. I really, really like it. So yes, that is it for all of the items. Oh, we have a couple more storage items. <clears throat> Excuse me, we have some bookshelves, which are interconnectable. I really like it. Um, love it. Awesome. I really like it. Well, I'm not really, I know, I'm, 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 I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm not even sure what I was saying. That was literally like a mini, like, seizure. <laughs> and then this one is um, a dresser. Really, really beautiful. And kind of traditional, but also you can also kind of modernize it as well. And another dresser. Ooh, this one is a little bit more kind of princessy. I, I like, I like. Um, we used to get a lot of dressers like these in The Sims 2. They would always come in like these styles. So also a little bit of nostalgia for me. So anyway, it looks like that is it for all of the items. I would love to show you guys gameplay, but I think I will reserve that for a playthrough. I might do a playthrough in the coming weeks, so just watch out for it if you guys want to see more. But um, just a quick recap of what we've seen so far. Honestly, I am so overwhelmed and I'm so happy with all of the new stuff that came with this game pack. I'm particularly impressed with all the build by mode stuff because just the style in general is something that I really do like. It's very contemporary. It's very... It's very traditional, but it has like a fresh kind of feeling to it. It feels really fresh and it's very versatile as well. You can put them in a modern style home. You can put them in a traditional style home and they would all fit, you know? So I'm really, really happy with that. For the creative sim items, I'm a little bit underwhelmed, but all the, the like the items that we do get are great. I just wish that we got more items, but I'm really happy with what we've gotten so far. Um, so if you guys are actually really interested in this game pack, I highly suggest you guys get it. You guys, it has my seal of approval. It has my Freezer Bunny official seal of approval. I recommend this 100% to you guys who are even remotely interested in getting this because the amount of content is amazing and I'm pretty sure it doesn't end here because I'm very confident that this game pack will shine even more as we get into the gameplay which we will explore further when I do my playthrough of it so yeah that officially concludes my overview for this game pack you guys so once again please don't forget to hit that like favorite and subscribe button if you had fun watching this video because it really helps out the channel a lot you all have an awesome 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 day thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye bye